everybody, Chef Seymour here, and this is episode 5. Question for all of you, are you tired of going to Popeyes and being disappointed that they're all sold out of their chicken sandwich? Well guess what, I got the solution for you, let's make it at home. The things that you will need to make a bomb chicken sandwich are some chicken breast, Seasonings of your choice, today seasonings that I'm going to use, some paprika, and some chili powder, and then the rest of them. The secret key to get some crispy chicken, I think y'all remember this, the cornstarch. Some sugar, salt, flour, and for a fun touch, hot Cheetos, mayonnaise, thyme, your buns, some vinegar, and finally some garlic. Before we get started with the start of the show, we need to make a special topping. We're gonna make pickles. Now you thought that we were gonna use these pickles? Y'all know me, I like to do stuff homemade. So what you need to make your homemade pickles are some pre-sliced cucumber slices, some thyme, some sugar, some salt, garlic, and finally, some vinegar. In order to make these pickles edible like pickles are, we're gonna have to brine them. So get a medium sized saucepan and into there you wanna add half a cup of vinegar. Now let's add our thyme. And then one tablespoon of garlic. Now let's take this to the stove so it can simmer. Now on medium high heat, place your brine and cook for five to 10 minutes. Now let's focus on the star of the show. What I have here is a meat tenderizer. I'm gonna be using the spiky side. Now why am I using a meat tenderizer, you may ask? Not only does it give it a new shape, but it helps break down those muscle tissues to make it more delicate and easy to chew. And the reason why I use the spiky side of the meat tenderizer, it helps break down some of that skin, so that way when we season it, the seasoning gets in there very jam-packed. Now it's time to season our chicken. You can go in whatever seasoning orders that you want. I'm going to start off with some onion powder. Some chili powder. Here we have some paprika. And then let's add some parsley. Garlic powder. And then finally some black pepper. Don't be afraid to get your hands messy, so we're gonna rub it in on both sides. If you watched the first episode, which was cooking fried chicken, you know I like to coat my chicken with an egg wash. So go in with a bowl of water, one egg, a cap full of milk, and then a whisk. knows what you need to coat your fried chicken, which is some flour, 
But did you also know to make it crispy, you need the sick ingredient? Cornstarch! Now add two tablespoons of cornstarch to your bag of flour. Now shake it up. And now we just do a simple dip and coat. Zip up the Ziploc bag and shake. Now let's drop this chicken into the fryer. While that is cooking, you know, I like to add flair to my dishes, you know. Being in a suburb of Chicago, um, we don't like hot Cheetos, so to add flair to it, let's make a hot Cheeto chicken sandwich. First thing we're gonna do is dip, shake it off, close it up with a Ziploc bag, and shake it up. Look at that color. So nice and golden brown. Now that we have that done, let's drop in our hot Cheeto one. Look at that nice and red color. Now what really made my Popeye chicken sandwich good for me was the sauce. So we're gonna make a homemade chicken sandwich sauce. Go with mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and honey. Go in with two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Cap full of your favorite barbecue sauce. And then drizzles of honey. And then whisk. Now, let's toast our buns. I'm gonna be using brioche buns today. Brioche, I think, are the best type of buns for a chicken sandwich. Now, in a skillet, add some butter and let it melt. Now that everything's ready, let's put it together. First thing you want to do is get you a knife full and then spread it. Don't be afraid to get a little more. And then we get our chicken. And then our three pickle slices. Then the top bun. And bam, we have our chicken sandwich. Now again, people, stop going to Popeyes and make it from home, cause the presentation even looks better. I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for 100 subscribers. God loves you, and I'm out. Y'all thought I was really done? Nah, y'all, we gotta do the hot chicken sandwich. One thing is that Popeyes doesn't do, they don't add cheese to their chicken sandwich. So let's add our cheese, top bun. Let's take the bite. 